Hi friends, um, we'll start off today by um, having a look at Scratch 3 um, which was uh, launched this year and its integration with the BBC Microbit. Um, this will be a short tutorial and um, in this tutorial we'll attempt to get the BBC Microbit connected with Scratch 3. Um, so head over to Scratch. Um, your Scratch URL is in the URL bar on the left hand side um, uh, top corner of the screen um, which is scratch.mit.edu. Um, you can get started with Scratch by just clicking the create button and that will launch the Scratch interface for you. So we will um, leave the Scratch interface as that. As that. Um, we will have a look quickly at the BBC Microbit. The BBC Microbit is a small and powerful board. Um, the BBC Microbit um, sells in Australia for around um, anywhere between 26 and 30 um, Aussie dollars. Um, the BBC Microbit is a small but really powerful board. Um, it's got LED lights on it, um, multiple different sensors, um, it um, ships with a USB cable and a set of batteries um, and can be used to create interactive programs. Now the BBC Microbit um, was designed to be programmed using a block-based programming tool um, which is called uh, MakeCode, um, um, published by the BBC. Um, or you can even program it in Python. So it's a very versatile board um, allowing you to program it in um, both um, block-based, you can use block-based programming um, and you can also use Python to program the board. Um, so we'll head over now to um, the Scratch um, interface. Um, let's just bring up the Scratch interface again. Um, to, to be able to connect to the microbit, um, the first thing you have to do is enable the microbit add-on. Um, and what we will do over here is enable the microbit add-on. So it's looking for devices now, but obviously we don't really have the um, microbit connected um, and it's also asking us to install Scratch Link. Now Scratch Link is a tool um, or an interface that allows Scratch to connect to the microbit. So what we'll do is we'll click on help. Um, let's scroll down. It, that has taken us to scratch.mit.edu slash microbit. Um, it's then taken us to a direct download. Let's click on the direct download. I'll save this to the desktop. Um, and let's see what happens. So that should basically have downloaded the scratch link tool for us. There we go. Um, I'm going to install scratch link on the computer. We should be able to see it now. What's happened there? Where did that go? That's probably over here. Okay. So now we'll just quickly go ahead and we'll install Scratch Link. Now Scratch Link is a prerequisite. Without Scratch Link installed, um, you will not be able to connect Scratch to your microbit board. So let's just, just um, I'll pause the video um, and let the inst installation progress. So the installation is progressing now. Um, it should be done pretty soon. There we go. The installation is done, um, and so that's that's the installation that's just completed. Um, to make sure that Scratch Link is running, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for Scratch Link in the menu. Let's look for Scratch Link in the menu. Um, Scratch link there, scratch link. Okay, if you can see scratch links in the menu there. I'll click on scratch link, make sure that it's running, and then I go to my taskbar and yes, I can now make sure. So yes, you've got to make sure that you have clicked on scratch link and scratch link is running. So there we go, we've executed scratch link and scratch link is now showing up in my taskbar. Um, with that done, um, I can head back. Um, I don't need this window right now, so I'm going to close that um, and I'm going to basically, I'll go back, I'll say okay, let's 
add the module. So what I've done is I've gone to the Scratch interface. Um, I'm adding the Microbit module. There we go, and there it's looking for my Scratch device. Now my Scratch device is not plugged in the computer yet. I'll plug that in right now. And let's see what happens. It still can't find. There we go, it's found the device. Or oh, has it? Oh no, it's not found the device. Okay. So obviously we've done something wrong. Um, what we haven't done is we haven't um, we haven't completed the installation for Scratch for the Scratch uh, modules. So we needed to do two different things, and I think we've only done the first one. We've downloaded Scratch Link and installed it, but the second thing that needed to get done was we needed to install the Scratch Microbit hex file. Well, the hex file is a program that gets downloaded to the Microbit, um, which then allows the Microbit to con be controlled by Scratch. So what we'll do is download that to the desktop, and we save it to the desktop. So I've got the Scratch Microbit file on my desktop now, um, and I'm going to drag that and drop it on my Microbit. So what I've just done is I have copied the Scratch uh, Microbit hex file or the program onto the Microbit, um, and that should have written the program under the Microbit. So it was a two-step process. The first pr uh, step involved downloading Scratch Link, which we did and installed it. Um, and the second step in that process, which we missed earlier, was um, installing the Microbit hex file, which we've done just now. We've downloaded the Microbit hex file over here, and we've installed it on the Microbit. So let's head back. Hopefully, we are done with um, installation of all the dependencies. Let's go back. And let's hit refresh there you go so so we'll try that again so what we've done is i'm going to scratch i'll start again we go to scratch.mit.edu um, go to create um, which brings up the scratch interface load the scratch module click on the scratch module and there you go and voila connect that should basically that's it and now we've got the microbit connected to scratch which is fantastic um, we click go to the editor and start working with the microbit um, in scratch um, that's it for this tutorial hopefully you enjoyed it thank you so much um, there'll be a lot more interesting stuff to follow in the coming days weeks and months thanks cheers